let's take a look at how we can use snapshots to store multiple recorded crossfade paths and UI parameter settings. So first I'm gonna play this patch bioencoder so you can hear what it sounds like. Cool, so that's a good sounding patch and I like it's um, default crossfade path that's just in, in this preset. So what I'd like to be able to do is be able to, to recall this crossfade path and also record new ones. So what I'm gonna do is click on the camera icon up here. This is the snapshot icon in the top area of uh, contact. And uh, then click on the little floppy disk icon and that allows me to save my current snapshot. And now let's go ahead and uh, record a new path. So first what I wanna do is actually just hear what the four corners of the sound uh, in the XY pad actually sound like. So what I'm gonna do is turn off the path button and that just lets me explore the XY square freely. Okay, so that sounds good. Let's go ahead and record uh, the crossfade path. So what I'm gonna do is hit the record button as soon as I hit a note on my MIDI keyboard, it will start recording the path. I'm just dragging my cursor with the mouse, um, but you could use a MIDI controller or touch OSC as well. And once I let off the note, the recording of the crossfade path will stop. All right, so let's hear the crossfade path we just recorded. Actually, what I'm gonna do is engage the retrig button so that for each voice that I play, the crossfade path retriggers um, or restarts from the beginning. I'm also going to adjust the release time a little bit. We'll make it a little bit longer. All right, so that sounds pretty good. Now let's save that as a snapshot. So once again, I'm gonna go and press the disc icon and let's type a name for it. So as you can see, it's stored and it works great. And now if I go to the little drop down menu um, next to the name of the snapshot, I can recall the default snapshot as well. And you see it, it recalls all its settings in the UI, it recalls a crossfade path. So this is a great way that I can record many paths and have different UI settings and easily be able to recall them. The last thing I wanna show you is where it stores the snapshots on your system. So what I'm gonna do is bring the instrument into edit mode, I'm gonna click on the little wrench icon, and then click on instrument options button. Um, and from there, let's select the snapshots tab, uh, which is the on the left side, it's the second from the bottom. And there you can see it has the snapshot saving location. Um, and there it shows a directory where the snapshots are stored on my computer. So if you have PostHuman installed on your laptop and let's say also your studio computer, um, it's pretty easy to move snapshots back and forth. You just copy from the snapshot location that's listed there and uh, move it to the same directory on your uh, second computer. And that's how you use snapshots. Thanks so much.